Hi guys, this is the Rugby Guru and today I'm previewing the Stormers vs Hurricanes game. This is one of the more interesting games of the season, so what a way to start. Starting at 15, it's Dylan Lates against Jordy Barrett. We all know they both uh, class outfits. Dylan Lates were exceptional last season. He was very unlucky not to be part of that World Cup squad. Whereas Jordy Barrett, on the other hand, has had a little bit of a mixed results. But we all know he's a very, very talented oak. And for this matchup, it's all going to depend who who's better under the high ball and which pack of forwards can dominate. So in the end, I really can't split the two at the moment. So for the number 15 berth, I will have to go as even. If you move on to the 14s, it's Sergio Peterson versus Wes Goosen. Um, Sergio's form has been up and down lately, while Wes Goosen has been very consistent. So for this battle of the 14s, I would probably say Wes Goosen is the better player between the two, if I can say that. Sergio still needs to prove himself. At number 13, you've got uh, Ruanel against Billy Proctor. We all know what Ruanel is capable of. Billy Proctor is also one of one of the younger uh, New Zealand players that's really, really looking promising. So for the battle of the 13s, depending on the day, I really can't split them at the moment. At 12, you've got Jamie Robertson uh, up against Ngani Lamape. This is a mouth-watering clash. Um, we all know that Jamie Robertson has been imported from overseas. He's basically at the end of his career. Just looking to maybe just add Super Rugby 2 to his resume. And, well, Lamape on the other hand is a youngster and... One of the players that's really looking to cement the 12th position with Ryan Crotty gone and Sonny Bill Williams also gone. Uh, I think this is Slow Map is here and he's going to bulldoze over his opponents yet again. So for the battle of the 12s, I have to say I'm going with Slow Map on this one. At 11, it's uh, Sabella Sinatla up against Ben Lam. Sinatla is struggling in the 15 game for me a little bit. Um, where Lamb, on the other hand, is one of the All Black stars, and you can really expect him to to bulldoze a couple of uh, Stormers players as well. So the Battle of Eleven have to go to Lamb, and although <laughs> people might disagree with me on this one, Sinatla should probably return to sevens. I don't think he's he's cut out for the 15-man game. Um, the sooner he realizes that, the better it will be for South African rugby. Then he can concentrate more on sevens, as the sevens are struggling at the moment. At 10, you've got uh, Damien Willems uh, up against Fletcher Smith. I don't know too much about Fletcher, but I know that Damien is a very talented player. Um, maybe this is his year to cement the number 10 uh, jersey with Hendrik Pollard gone. But he will have stiff competition from uh, the Duplessis. So it's going to be tough. Um, at 9, you've got Herschel Yankees up against TJ Perinara. And this is probably one of those battles where you have to decide and say, will the forwards be dominant enough? Will they be able to be clean ball available? We all know Herschel Yankees is one of the rising stars of South African rugby. Well, TJ Perinara has proved him over and over again for the All Blacks and the Hurricanes. Um, as far as the Battle of the Nines go, I think the Stormers will dominate up front and Yankees will have more uh, front football. So, not because Herschel is better, but because on the day I think Herschel Yankees is going to have a better game. So, I'm going with Yankees there. At 8, you've got Captain Sia Kulisi up against... Um, the all formidable Gareth Evans, both All Black and Springbok, both um, normally flankers, so we will have to wait and see how they adjust to the number eight position. Um, as far as the the matchup concerned, I would go 
even Stevens on that one. At number seven, you've got Peter Steff de Toure up against um, Duplessis Caribi. What more can I say about uh, Peter Steff de Toure? He's the world player of the year last year and expect him to to continue that sort of form that saw him become the best player in the world. Um, I don't see that Karibi has any chance at all. At six, you've got Jakob Kutsia up against Reed Princip. I don't know too much about uh, Princip, but I know that Jakob Kutsia is one of my favorite players at the moment. He's strong, fast, he's a fetcher, he can even carry the ball well. So for me, the number six battle is a straight win for Jakob Kutsia, no doubt about it. At number five, you've got Chris Van Sale against uh, Scott Scrafton. Both for me, pretty average players, um, or a little bit above average. Um, it's good. It's fair to say that both players will never reach um, international uh, standards. So this one is very even for me. At number four, you've got Salman Murat up against. Um, James Blackwell, also I don't know too much about Blackwell. Murat is one of the up-and-coming rising stars of South African rugby and expect him to really put one over him in the pack. So at number four, I would have to go for Salman Murat. At three, you got Franz Mulherbe up against Tyler Lomax. Both good scrummers. Um, it's two of the players that will never let your team down. As far as the battle of the free goes, I think that Stormers have a dominating pack, which will probably lead to Malherbe having a better game than Tyler Lomax. So I have to go with Malherbe there. Bonambi up against um, Ricky Riccatelli. Obviously, you'd say Bongi Bonambi, but I am a huge fan of Ricky Riccatelli. Um, Whether he will have that much of an impact in a struggling uh, back of forwards. We'll have to wait and see. So just maybe I'll also have to give this one to Bongi. Kutsov, Stephen Kutsov up against uh, Fraser Armstrong. We all know what an exceptional player Stephen Kutsov is. So for the battle of the ones, you'll, I will definitely go with Kutsov. He's going to have a ball in the scrum and along with Franz Malherbe and the rest of the Stormers back, they're going to have a great game. On the bench for the Stormers, you've got uh, Skarren Tubeni, Ali Vermaak, Wilke Lowe, David Meijzer, Ernst van Rijn, Johan de Toei, Godlin Masimla and Rikas Pretorius. So a, a bit of youngsters on the bench, hopefully to give that little bit of spark needed when the other play players are tired. On the Hurricanes bench, you've got Asafu Amua, um, Pori Raketi Stones, Tavita Mafilio, Faya Favita, Devin Flanders, Jamie Booth, Jackson Garden Bishop, and Vince Asso. With only basically for me, um, Amua, Favita, and Asso really causing for problems. So guys, that's my feeling about this game. I think the Stormers is going to take this by at least 10 points. Give me your thoughts, but for now, it's goodbye until next time.